Hi, Sophia. Do you love my beautiful hair edition today? Miss Morse's husband sent her flowers. One broke, and so she gave it to me. Yes, it's a broken flower, and she gave it to me. All right, so <clears throat> we are talking about, Molly, please sit. We are talking about the reasons why we have seasons. The reasons for the seasons. Ah, I rhymed. Okay, so the reasons for the seasons. What are the seasons? Oh, goodness. What are the seasons? Summer, spring, winter, and summer. Fall. Very good. Summer, spring, winter, and fall. Very good, Molly. Excellent job. And why we have different temperatures during those seasons is because the Earth orbits the sun on its axis. So yesterday we drew an axis that went through our, our Earth on our um, chart here. And that is its axis, that is, it's tilted on its axis. And then it orbits, meaning it goes around the sun, goes around the sun, the earth goes around the sun and it orbits. And that's why we get the seasons. That's the reason for the seasons is because the earth orbits the sun on its axis. All right, so, you can kind of see here that the, let me, I like this diagram the best. Okay, so, um, and this one is also in the same order that ours is on our paper here. It, it goes in the same, it goes in the same sequence. So, you can see that uh, I put an X on your paper and on mine of the Yay. Northern Hemisphere of North America. I put an X on yours and on mine. That's where we live on this globe that is on your paper, Molly. On this model of the earth that's on your paper, this is where we live, is, on the, is where the X is. That's where we live on the earth. So, over here in the winter, you can see it's dark. What does the dark mean? We're not getting what? Sunlight. Sunlight, very good, Molly. When it's dark, it means we're not getting as much direct sunlight. So that means the weather would be what? Cold. Yes. If the sun is not out or it's not hot, then the weather is more cold. And that's why we have the winter solstice. That's why it is winter time. It's because our where we live, which is this green spot right here, is not getting direct sunlight from the sun. Because we are on the opposite side where we orbit the earth. We are on the opposite side orbit of the sun. The now, in March, you can see that that this back side of the earth let me model here okay so here we are here's North America okay that's where yeah sorry I'll make sure that's North America that's where we live up there so you can kind of see how this globe is tilted right Here's its axis, the screw can be an axis, and then down here is the axis as well. So it's tilted. So when it's here, we are away from the sun, but it's like it, it's rotated this way. So this part is away from the sun. So this back part back here would have the direct sunlight from the sun because this part is in the shade. And this is the spring equinox. So it's closer to the sun because we're here and the sun is just on this other side. So it's getting warmer, but it's not quite summertime yet. And then we're rotating, we're orbiting, we're going around, we're going around, we're going around. <gasps> Look, now we are here and we are getting direct sunlight. Can you see Sophia? Now we are getting direct sunlight from the sun. So that means it's what? Whew. Hot. Hot. <sighs> Hot, yes, it's getting it's hot outside. Bad. That's right, it's getting hot outside because we are getting direct sunlight from the sun. Our little, our, our little earth here is getting direct sunlight. So now we're orbiting, we're orbiting, we're orbiting, we're orbiting, boom! Now we're here. Now we're at the fall um, equinox, or the autumnal equinox, and see our sun, <laughs> we're actually behind the sun now but we are getting more direct sunlight, but because we're on our axis, we're up and away. 
So it's not as hot and not as cold as summer or as in winter. So, and then we would orbit, 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 orbit. See, and now we're away from the sun. This half is getting the sunlight and we're in winter and that's why it's colder, okay? So, because the earth is on its axis, tilted on an axis, and orbits the sun is why we have the seasons. Because the earth is tilted on its axis and orbits the sun, that is why we have the seasons. <laughs> so, Molly, the earth is tilted on its what? Ah. Appetite. Elijah, the earth is tilted on its what? Axis. Richard, the earth is tilted on its what? Axis. Axis, very good. It's tilted on its axis. And Elijah, the sun, because the sun is tilted on its axis, and it does what to the sun? Accident. Sorry, the earth is tilted on its axis. I don't know what I just said. I said sun. Oops, my bad. Ah, the earth is tilted on its axis, and it does what to the sun, Elijah? That. It, oh. Accident. It, it, the sun. Orbit. Oh, yes, thank you. The earth is on its axis, and it orbits the sun, is why we get the seasons. Okay. Very, very Fall, good. summer, August, July. Sure. All right. Bye, Sophia. We'll see you later.